Hey guys, my name is Sean. Uh, my 501st number is TB25415. And I'm here to do a quick demo on uh, UK SRAF's Biker Scout Helmet Audio System. Now, uh, those of us in the Golden Gate Garrison know Tony, uh, UK SRAF, and we know how great his work is, especially on his self contained audio systems for TKs. Now, I think that us Biker Scouts have wanted a system like that. But Tony is now gauging interest on, on making a system available to the masses, if you will. Uh, so let me show you guys how it works. So here are the components that make this system work. We have a microphone, and I have two here to show as examples. My own personal acre mic that has been slightly modified to attach to my helmet with a magnet. I'm not sure whether it's omnidirectional or cardioid. And this mic here is a typical omnidirectional ear loop speaking mic. A lot of TKs use this type of mic and tape it on their cheeks for maximum pickup. We have two amplifiers that Tony made. One uses rechargeable batteries and charges with an AC adapter just like an Acre amp. It has lots of inputs here, mic, speaker, auxiliary to play music through or, I don't know, say for example, the Imperial March and the power wheel. The other is a 9 volt version of the same amp which would give a little bit more power to the speaker. Tony uh, customizes both of these, wraps them in that nice black vinyl you see. Now for some snout options. This snout piece is cast out of resin. The details on this one are a little soft due to the casting process, however. The aerator and engine detail is screen accurate. This piece is 3D printed and is far more detailed, also screen accurate, but it has a textured finish that needs to be removed. The other possible option would be to supply the engine aerator piece by itself without a backing plate. This is a Don Jar made piece off of eBay. This is my personal piece and you can see I began to hollow out the mic area. Unfortunately this one is not as screen accurate as others. This is Tony's supplied MC snout with a backing plate as one piece. The speaker is installed as well as a speaker mesh. You can see the size difference between the Don Jar Greebly, and you can also see that the circles are not half closed like the MC Stout, which is considered to be more accurate. My helmet is a CB, and here you can see that the CB backing plate is much larger than the MC. This will likely be the case with all different helmet makers. You can see how much space is left over here. If you have an MLC V3, yours should fit like a glove. Based on the fact that all helmets are made different, it's looking like a separate engine piece will be the way to go for this. Here you can see how the speaker in the snout piece is connected. You have to drill a hole through the front of your helmet to allow for the wire to poke through. I then just routed the wire through uh, my helmet under the pads and, and through the lining that I had installed in there and you can see the connection here coming out and ready to be plugged into the amp. Here you can see the magnet attachment I made for my Acre mic. I simply glued a rare earth magnet and put some black gaff tape over it. I put some hook velcro on this helmet pad and then put some loop on the back of the amp and stuck it here. Then just attach the speaker and the mic cables to the amp and route the cable however you wish throughout the helmet. Everybody's helmet's different. Uh, I would have, you know, normally routed that cable that you see there, but for test purposes, this is good enough. And let's power it up and do some tests. Super simple. Testing, testing. Talking normal volume through the microphone. Testing, one, two, three. Check, check, check. Testing, testing. Talking normally through the microphone. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Testing, testing. Check, check, one, two, three. Check, check, check. Testing, testing, one, two, three. The results all sound very natural. I didn't test using the 9 volt amp because the difference seemed negligible. There was a noticeable difference between the Acre mic and the Ear Loop mic, however. The Ear Loop mic had a clearer sound and seems to have a perceived difference in loudness, even though I was talking at the same volume. Well guys, that concludes the test for the audio system. I know I love having this system in my helmet. It's just super cool to see the sound coming from the mic tip here on the front of the helmet. It's a really great no hassle system. You can just put your helmet on and just get to trooping. Hey, you there. 